What's up, YouTube? It's your book, Jackrabbit, here, back with another Retro Rider review. I'm going to have to do this one a little bit different than I normally do, because unfortunately, whenever I try to do this one with my regular camera camera, it times out on me all the time. I guess the video is just too long for the regular camera camera, but at least I got option B. All right, so today we're going to be looking at the Premium Bandai Neo DN Driver. I have to put this right above my face so I can't see. There we go. Neo DN driver. Yes, this was a premium Bandai item. Came out during Kamen Rider Geo. So yeah, let's talk about the box first. So, of course, you know, typical box. This is DX Neo DN driver. And then you've got a picture of the driver, picture of Kamen Rider DN. Bandai logo. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. That's that 20th Heisei logo they used during Kamen Rider Geo. There's Geo's logo. I think it's Geo. And then on the top, you've got the second half of the Heisei Riders and a picture of the end again. Their cards. Not the last time you're gonna see them. Another picture of the end. Same picture, but no different picture of the end. On the other side, on the back, it's got a picture of every single secondary Heisei Rider. And of course, a picture of the end, of course. And of course, the stuff nobody cares about. Of course, on the bottom, the other half of the Heisei. Secondary Riders cards and a picture of the end. That's it for the box. All right, what is what all comes in this packaging? So of course you get the driver itself, which is this bad boy. It is blue. There's a reason. I will explain that here in a minute. And why it's called the Neo DN driver instead of just the DN driver. Of course, you come with this nice little card holder, which is kind of useless, kind of not useless. Then you come with this giant stack of cards, which I will show you every single one of these cards. And then what it does in the driver. Yeah, so this is going to be fun. All right, so let's go over the driver real quick first. All right. So what does it do? Actually, for a gun toy, not bad. That is very satisfying. You have no idea. As I'm being stared at by a puppy. Okay, so... If you don't know about DN, DN is a secondary writer for Common Rider Decade, which was the 10th anniversary season during the Heisei era of Common Rider. And you may ask, what's the Heisei era? Okay, so how it works in Japan, how they explain these eras, okay? I don't really quite understand it because I'm not, you know, I'm an American. So, but every time there's a new emperor, it starts a new era. That's how they explain it. I don't, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me, but. So, so yeah, but during Geo, so originally DN's driver is black with blue piping right here. Like right here. This would be blue piping, and these part would be yellow. It was a darker blue, though. It looked way cooler. This kind of looks kind of... I mean, this looks really good. I mean, yeah, I mean, might as well show this bad boy off. I mean, it definitely looks cool. It's fun to play with, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's got all the details. It's a premium band, right? So, obviously, it should have all its details. But, um, so, yeah, so this is 
but I guess during Geo, I guess to try to help the show, because Geo was not doing good. I liked Geo, but that was just me. I'm weird. But, um, but, um, I guess to help ratings or whatever, they brought back Decade and the end. Decade was in the show more often, but the end did still show up, and for both of them, they got new drivers. So, of course, you know that meant new toys. Am I going to try to track down an original Decade driver? No, I have a, I mean, DN driver, sorry. No, I have a DN driver. Why would I get another one? Just saying. All right, so. Now for the giant stack of cards. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show them to you, and then I'm just going to put them in the driver. I think that would be the fastest way to do this. Okay, so first you got the DN card. Now, hold on. Let me look through these. Yeah. You got... You have all the secondary writers, and then you have final form cards for, um, you know, of course, you know, tack cards and all that. But then you also have your final form cards for all of your um, main writers. I don't know why they put them in here, but they did. But um, there is one that is kind of, that's questioned, but... I'm not going to question it because I've not seen said series. I'll, when I get to that one, I'll explain that one. But uh, okay, so first card is the DN card. Obviously, of course, we're going to go with DN's card first. It's got his logo on the back. I mean, it looks good. Now, when you put the cards in, you have to put them in a certain way or it will not read. Okay, so I believe that is, that is incorrect. You, see, you hear that noise? All right, let me show you on the camera here. So... So it does it again. These are pretty nice cards. I mean, they're a nice little laminated plastic. They're not going to bend or anything. So, okay, so when you put the card in, you got to put it in the right way. I'm deliberately, mind you, right now, I'm deliberately putting it in the wrong way. So that way it does that. That is the wrong way. You're supposed to put it in. No, mind you. Watch I do it wrong again. Like that. No, I don't think... I'm pretty sure all the other cards are just generic sounds. They don't... Like, each rider doesn't get... Their own... Theme. That would have been cool to put in here. But, no. Alright, so now it's a, the Mast Rider, the end, complete form. Yes, because they say Mast Rider. Yes, I know us Americans, we cringe when we hear Mask Rider. Because that show did not do good at all. Which is why it never got an next. But yet, Common Rider uh, Dragon Egg did really well. Now for all of the secondary writers. So first we have up G3. I mean, looks cool. Got his logo on the back there. But that's pretty much what I know about him. him. I don't know anything about him, so I can't really say anything about him. I mean, if I know... So that's pretty much it. Now that's a generic load sound. Okay. Next one up is Kamen Rider Knight. Which is from Kamen Rider Ryuki. 
yeah, Ryuki. Or in the US, Dragon Knight. Which I believe Ryuki means Dragon Knight in Japanese, but I don't know for sure. Uh, now I'm going to have to look that up real quick so I can feel stupid. Give me a second. Okay, so it literally means, Riki literally means dragon. So, dragon knight actually kind of makes sense. Yeah, smart. But, um, yeah, so he is the secondary writer. We called him Wing Knight. There's his logo on the back. Nothing special there. Common writer Kyvix? Kyvix? Oh, this will say it. Because I don't know how to say it. But I know I have these out of order. And that's how you say it. Now, after you use a card, there is no... Like additional sounds, which is kind of lame. Now we got coming writer Garin, Garin. There's his logo. I believe he's from Kamen Rider Blade. I think I'm not sure. We got Kamara, Kamen Rider Ibukui, Ibuki, Ibuki. I think it's Ibuki, which is from Hibiki. I at least know what series he's from. Got his logo on the back. Pretty cool suit. And somehow Jack put it in backwards. I have no idea how I did that. That was weird. Because I could have sworn I had this thing in right, but apparently not. And now we got Common Rider Garrick Gallic. Oh, something like that. I'm not sure how to say it. Cool looking suit, but... Pretty cool logo, too. Not sure which series he's from. It's hot. Xeranos? Xeranos? Okay, not sure what size he's from, but I'm liking that suit, especially with that green on there. Got his logo on the back. It says Common Ride. I have no idea how to pronounce this guy's name. And that's his logo. I'll let the driver say his name because I'm not going to even try it. It's 
Take so. Okay. Now this is one I can't say, and I need to get his driver, but next up is Kamen Rider XL, which is from Kamen Rider Double, and I actually already reviewed the Double Driver on the channel not that long ago, but yeah, pretty cool, I need to get his driver one of these days. Next is Kamen Rider Birth. Birth. Of all names. Birth? That's his logo. I'm, again, not sure what series he comes from. Now I got Common Rider Meteor, who, which is, I believe, from Fies. No, Forze. Why did I say Fies? Forze. Yeah, he's from Forze, which is like an astronaut species series. I've not seen, but I'd like to. Yeah, I'll be with you shortly. Talking to the puppy, she wants to go out. Mm -hmm. It's just me and her, right? Just very second. All right now, we got Common Rider Beast, which I think I can't remember where he's from. I think Wizard. I think. I think no Baron's from Wizard. I'm not sure where Beast is from. Not sure. I mean, cool looking suit. I mean, with the green eyes. I mean, that's cool. I just don't know what series he's from. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody down in the comments just. He's gonna go, Jack, you're an idiot, and tells me where every single one of these guys is from. But. I've not seen every single Kamen Rider series, so bear with me. A Kamen Rider Baron is from Wizard, yes. Cool ass suit. I think he has a cooler suit than the, uh... There's his logo on the back, as usual. I think he has a cooler suit than the, uh... Wizard suit. Now we got Kamen Rider Mach, who, yes, Kamen Rider Mach is from Kamen Rider Drive, but come on, you cannot tell me that X XL does not look like you would be from Kamen Rider Drive, I'm just saying. Angel might poke her head out. She's sleeping right now. Or at least trying to. And now we got Kamen Rider Spectre, who is from Kamen Rider Ghost. Sorry, Ghost has cool ass music. I'm sorry. I'll say it now. Ghost has cool ass music. As soon as I get done, I'll let you out, Libbers. Libby. Puppers wants to go out. But I tried to let her out before I started this. You know. Oh yeah. That's the logo. That's the suit, which looks pretty cool, but Ghost is cooler, but yeah, Spectre. Alright, now this is how I know for a fact they don't use the sounds 
for each individual rider, each individual route theme, because every rider has their own theme. Is starting with this guy, Common Rider Bray, which is the secondary writer for Common Rider X Aid. Even though he was a writer before X Aid, oh yeah, you'd have to go back and see Common Rider X Aid, which I recommend. And I will eventually have the con- the Gamer Driver to review on the channel. Just gotta wait for it to come in. I got the U.S. release instead of Japanese release, so I'm waiting forever to get it. Not that I'm complaining. But I do re- recommend Common Rider x Uh First of all, it's my first Common Rider series I watch all the way through. Outside of Dragon Knight. Obviously. Uh, because Dragon Knight was first. First Japanese series. Um, yeah, it's gaming mixed with Doctor. Very interesting. Next is my boy, Cross Z. As you all know, if you saw my Cross Z video, which apparently not very many of you guys did, because it did, it did terrible. But yeah, Cross Z's my boy. There's his logo. Apparently, that's his logo. But yeah, as I said, I know for, yeah, because I know Brave, and I know this guy's Hold music. And the toy does not use it. I didn't miss opportunity. I think it would have been really cool if they would have... You know, since they had to redesign it anyways, and it's supposed to be like a moil edition for, uh... Sentai. Since it is a complete selection modification, uh, I believe this is a complete selection. They had to redo the toy anyways. So why didn't they just add that? Because that'd be really cool. Now you got... For Kamen Rider Geo. Gates. Sorry, I like Geo better than Gates. Most of the time I like the secondary rider. Brave, I can't really say. He was kind of a douche at the beginning, but... Gates was a little weird, though. And now we got the attack cards. So, first you got the Neo Illusion. And all of them on the back for the attack cards. I'm not going to show it, but they all have DN's logo on the back, obviously. Neo Illusion. Really cool card. I do remember him using this on the show. Now, on the show, whenever he did... Now, Decade could transform into Riders to where his D-End could just summon them. So, like, if he used Gates' card, he could just create, like, an illusion version of Gates. Which is really cool. Neo Invisible. That's a cool-looking card. He, yes, he can turn himself invisible. Which I don't think Decade could do. I think that was D-End's thing. Here's a really cool one. Neo Cross Attack. This is really cool. First of all, the card looks badass. Second of all, just the idea behind it is B.A. And I do remember him using that card during GL, and it was really cool. Now we got Neo Blast. Still, badass looking card. Total badass card. Now I got the Neo Barrier. 
It's the last regular attack card. Even though I call this a defend ride card. Because it's actually... Ah! I just dropped it. It's more of a defense move than an attack. But they call it an attack ride card, so... Of course, he has to have his final attack card. Or, for you Ryuki fans, or Dragonite fans, uh, his, um, how do I want to say this? His final event card. This is his. This one's cool because it's, you know how all the others are red? I can always find it because it's, it's yellow. It's cool because it's yellow. Makes it easy to find too. Now, this is where it gets interesting. These are all the the rest of these are all the final form cards for all the writers. Except for Geo. They don't have Geo's final form. Oma Geo. Because he technically did not exist when this blaster came out. They didn't have a card for him yet. But all the rest. So you got Decade Complete. Of course, you know Decade's logo is on the back. How many of these names am I going to buy? I don't like how this form looks, by the way. I didn't say it. I don't like it. It looks stupid. That's personally my opinion, though. Some people in there think may think that form looks really cool. I don't. Now we got Kuga Ultimate form. Becoming a Kuga. There's a logo on the back. Now you got Kamen Rider Agito. Shining form. Slug on the back. I mean, it's okay looking. I'm not really going to comment too much on the forms until we get to. Oh. Ones I know. And this is where I will complain. I don't know about the guy, oh, the second writers before Ryuki, so Agito or Kuga's secondary writers. But what that would have been really cool was instead of these cards, they would have gave you cards for uh, the secondary writers' final forms. So, like for you, Ryuki, instead of doing Ryuki survive mode, would have gave us Knight survive mode. And of course, you got Ryuki's logo on the back, that nice dragon symbol. Now, I've not heard the Ryuki theme song, but I have heard um, the Dragonite theme song, and the Dragonite theme song is badass. Now we get Common Rider Fi's uh, blaster form. You know, you'll notice a lot of these, and of course his logo's on the back. They try to make the names forms really unique, but I'm oh, sorry. Uh... But some of these just they just repeat ultimate form stuff like that. All right, we got Kamen Rider Blades, a King Form, and his logo's on the back. 
It's literally the same as his secondary writer. This is kind of a lame final form, but Hibiki Armored. Looks bad. Looks kind of BA, but. Yeah, his literally his name is Armored. I mean. I mean, you couldn't give it. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show off his logo. There we go. Now we got Kabuto, and his final form is Hyperform. Kind of looks weird, but there's his logo. Now we've got Deno, final form, which is liner form, which kind of looks cool because he kind of has a train theme to him, kind of, so it works for him. Then his logo's on the back there. All right, now we got Kiva. Now this form does look BA. And this is Emperor form. That looks BA. Of course, with his logo on the back. Now we've got. Now we've got, Kamen Rider Double Cyclone Joker Extreme form, which is really cool. It's the only form I don't have his uh, Giga memory for, and that's his logo. Extreme. What did I say? I don't know. I might have said that wrong. But that's why I had this thing. To correct my stupidity. Alright. Now this is the questionable one. Okay. O's fans. Please. Somebody down in the comments. Please. Somebody who knows Kamen Rider O's. Please tell me. Uh. Coin to the set. Puto Tar combo is supposed to be this form. It's supposed to be the final form. But some people say it's another form? Uh, somebody want to let me know here? Uh, I'm just going by what the card says, okay? So nobody come at me and say, Jack, you're a dumb dumb. Jack knows he's a dumb dumb. But, yeah. And then his logo's on the back there. That looks kind of B.A. I know I'm not the most intelligent person or what, and I've not seen... And I've not seen O, so I can't comment on it. But... Yeah, alright, next up is Forze. Who looks kind of weird. Forza Comics... Comic Stance? Cosmic Stance, sorry. 
I said comic. Cosmic stance. Looks okay. I mean, I mean, there was only so much they could do with that. Now we got Kamen Rider Wizard, Infinite Style. That looks kind of badass. That's his logo. sense for wizard for it to say style because of the thing with magic and wizard had a magic thing to him duh his name was wizard jack duh now we got gain kiwari arms apparently again if somebody doesn't think one of these is their final form please tell me because i don't know Yeah, she said that one, right? All right next up, we got Common Rider Drive. Uh, type Typhoon. I think I said that right. That looks cool. Don't have any plans to get in the drive driver because you know, Zero One's already going to break me trying to get all of those pro guys keys all right now we got ghost which apparently some people don't like ghost i think the music about ghost is badass but and i thought the ghost character was cool when i see him I may want to try the name Miging Damashi. Nice logo, the ghost logo on the back, which is kind of cool. Now, if I don't pronounce these next two correctly, I've got an issue since I've actually watched their series. So we've got, next up, we got Kamen Rider X8 Muteki Gamer. Sorry, this form's kind of cool. Really cool looking. And they did just release the Gasha for Gemu. There's X8's logo. Uh, you know, his version of Muteki. And last, you got Build Genius, because as I said, they did not have, Omogeo was not a thing yet. So, of course, Build Genius looks really cool. I do have the Genius bottle, and I have already reviewed it on the channel. Go back and check out that video if you haven't had a chance already. You know, go check out all my old Build G videos, actually, because none of them did very good. Well, that's pretty much it for the Neo DN driver. This is probably not the last time you're going to see this driver. Probably not. I'll probably use it again. Who knows? This is me. But yeah, so that's it. I say if you can find this relatively expensive, check eBay. Check. You can check Amazon. I think I got this on Amazon. I don't remember where I got this on. I think it was Amazon. I'd have to go back and look. That's too much work. <laughs> uh I think I got it on Amazon, but yeah. So, if you can find it at a decent price, I wouldn't say pay pay over $300 for it. But if you can find it for like one or $200, uh, it's 
especially if it's complete, get it because it is a good driver, especially if you don't already have a DN driver for your collection. Other than that, that's it. I enjoy it. It's going to go hung, get hung up in my room here in a minute. All right, so my next Retro Rider review is, I can't say it's going to be my next video, but my next Retro Rider review, unless something comes in before I have a chance to film it, is going to be the the V-Buckle and Drag Visor from Kamen Rider Yuki. Now, I don't make that two videos just because... With all the cards and all that and everything that comes with that set. I'm going to have to film it like I'm filming this one. Because of how much stuff is in there. When you see this box, you will understand why I'm saying this. Because of course I will have to show up the box. The box is huge. The box is bigger than my head. Well, that's not saying anything because technically this is bigger than my head. But... I mean, like, it is, like, torso long for me. I mean, it's a pretty big box. And then Drag Visor has its own box. Yeah, so I'll make that two videos. So those are coming down the pipeline eventually. Don't know when. Don't know when, but I will eventually do this. But I will let you guys go. You guys have a good one. And